at 19. Underway, the opening kickoff goes down the field, and that's a little special team. So in Madden, then, you know, you get those people kicking to the sidelines. They kick it in the corner. Some people call it a scum kick. But you talked about pinning those people deep in the sideline. That was a nice kickoff well, to start there. That's strategy. That's all about strategy, giving them a one-way go. You know, you kick it down the middle of the field, they've got uh, more options. You pin them to the sideline, use the sideline as your friend and another defender. So that's good strategy. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about their lineups today. So K-Mac on offense, what he's going to go with is the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. So a little shout-out, a little homage to the team here that he's representing. And on defense, he's going to use the Jaguars playbook. So a little bit of a different, interesting choice from K-Mac, but that's ultimately what he's going to do. Well, I think changing it up a little bit may work into his advantage. Uh, most opponents are used to going against uh, particular defenses, so him switching it up a little bit could play into his advantage. And for Trey, he's on the other side of the ball. He normally runs uh, the bunch from the West Coast playbook, which is a very popular playbook here in Madden. But today, he's changed it up to the Patriots playbook, which is very common. A lot of the folks out there uh, utilize it. But he's not going to run the bunch. He's going to run the trips tight end as his base formation, kind of his set here. And he's going to get his playbook set up. Well, the question is going to be is, how are you going to adjust if that doesn't work? You've made this your main game plan. If somebody is able to, to stifle that, what are you going to do next? Are you going to revert back to what you did before? So I think it's a risky move, but I understand the strategy behind it. Some people like to dance with the one they brought. Other people like to, you know, the West Coast Bunch got him here, but he felt like some opponents had scouting on what he liked to run. So he changed it up. He actually wanted to give uh, credit to Chaos, who's one of the players in the community. He shouted him out for his scheme on offense, switching over from that trips uh, to that trips from the bunch, and also Jay Wall as well. He learned from him. So this community comes together. Uh, they, they play, they practice, they're labbing, they're constantly grinding, trying to find the next thing, trying to find ways to get an on the opponent. We'll see if Trey can get it here on second and 13. He goes underneath. And that's picked off. That's a huge play, big mistake. Big mistake early on in the game. What a user underneath Ryan Shazier. So that's the Mutt Master. That means he is the best player in Ultimate Team, which means he costs a lot of cap. But he's running around there with 90 speed, which is as fast as Barry Sanders, as fast as a lot of guys. He got underneath the route. And unfortunately for K-Mac, when he caught the pick, the camera flips around. He kind of lost his momentum because sure. that, that's a pick six. That pick six all day long. And what we just talked about is him trying a different offensive strategy may not go the way that you want. Right now we see a turnover, and uh, hopefully K-Mac can capitalize on this early. He's in field goal range after the user oh, no. pick from Ryan Shazier, an amazing play from K-Mac to start the game. Got a receiver uncovered in the slot. Trying to establish the run, not much up the middle right there. And his halfback today will be Tevin Coleman. He actually has multiple uh, halfbacks, I believe, because of how he kind of uses his offense. We'll talk about it as the game goes on, but Coleman in the backfield is a very common player you see in salary cap line. It's not a legend, but, you know, he's not. Good he's good the job, though. Yep, yeah. good back. Trying to go to the corner, yeah. and on Ran second and nine, they're going to give him the catch. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're going to give him the catch. The possession catch down to the one-yard line. That's John Ross, the speedster, uh, breaking out. Yes, I didn't think he caught it. I didn't either. I didn't I thought think he, he caught I it. Thought he didn't think he caught it, and I thought he was out of bounds, but clearly not. Let's see what K-Mac decides to do. He's on the one-yard line. Does he get those two, three tight ends? Ben, you were a tight end. You played here for the Cardinals. You see As you see the, the heavy formation right now, we're going to try to mash it in with the big guys. You see those three tight ends. You're happy. I'm very happy. And you see the end result when you have the tight ends in the game. That is too easy for K-Mac. Gets the turnover, hands it to Coleman, goes up the middle, subs the beef in the field. Takes a 7-0 lead. You guys remember this event last year. We saw K-Mac. He got a lead early in the game against Volter Axe. He was feeling good, looking good, but he was ultimately unable to hold that lead and sustain it. So we'll have to see if he can do that here against Trey. Well, that was one of the things that we talked about in the back as far as him being ahead. And he said that he kind of lost his focus and played into the crowd a little bit uh, too much. And he said this time around, he's definitely going to maintain focus. That's Tyreek Hill bringing back the kick for Trey. He's got a pretty st uh, solid lineup here at the 850 cap. If you look at Trey on offense, he's utilizing Michael Vick as his quarterback. He's a very, obviously, a Madden legend. He really kind of changed the game back on PS2. Vick's back, left-handed QB who can scramble. Tyreek Hill is his favorite offensive player. 
naturally That's with the speed of, of Tyreek Hill. Who wouldn't choose him as a favorite receiver? The cheetah all the way. And, and then I'm defensively, going. he's got Patrick Peterson from the yeah, Cardinals. He's actually going to be showing up here on this game day. They're playing the Broncos tonight. So Pat Pete will be in the building, but he's also on the defense of Travis. Uh, on his side. Got three receivers to the right. Good protection right now. Plenty of time to throw. Corner. Somebody wide open. Hill, did he get the feet in? Got him in, got him down, caught the rock. 31-yard completion to Tyreek Hill to the corner. Got enough time in the pocket to throw the ball, so that, that's pretty key. Um, is, is he going to stick with the run right now, or is he going to continue passing the ball? That's going to be the question right now. He's back in the gun bunch now. It's the Patriots. Oh, pressure for K-Mac off the right side. Jacobs, uh, not a legend. Nope. Nope, not necessarily a star. But doing his job right now, clearly. Playing to the scheme. The X's and O's, the X's and O's. That's what it's all about. K-Mac. Oh, we got a wide open. Looks like the fullback. Yeah, Cross takes it across the field. Uh, gets some of those yards back from the sack. Makes it a third and seven. And he's in field goal range now. Can't take a sack no. on this third down because you're in that in that range uh, where your kicker can probably, probably make this depending on how much cap you got. I'm, I'm waiting to see if he's going to utilize Michael Vick. As you know, he's a dangerous runner. Uh, he's an adequate passer as well. Caught the drag, across the middle, first yeah. down, move the chains. And that's the legend Tim Brown with a catch and traffic rating that's uh, up there, likely in the 90s, going to hang on to that football across the middle, even though he took a big hit. Trey working downfield, showing much more, a little more comfort after that opening drive. Absolutely. He's and there we go. We talked about it just a minute ago. When will we see Michael Vick take off and run? And here you see an adequate gain of uh, six to seven yards right there. Yeah, and even though he only got six, I think it's going to cause headaches for K-Mac because he was spying a defender earlier in the game, which takes away from how many guys you can send and, or drop in coverage. Uh, that was the first time he didn't drop that spy, and look what happened. A viable option having Michael Vick left there. And you notice right now he's not being greedy. He's taking what the defense is giving him. He's not going for the home run. Nice safe throws. Wasn't able to complete that one, but he's in a manageable third and four. Third and four, he's in range. He's trying to find that formula down here in the red zone in Madden. This, this area of the field is very tough to capitalize on. Everything gets kind of shoved together. Shazier was in the middle on that last play. Couldn't quite scramble. Was late thrown to the, to the drag, which ended up getting tackled by the flat defender. So we'll see if he gets out of the backfield here. Oh, takes a sack. Cannot afford to take a sack in this situation. Going to have to try to go for the field goal and hopefully convert some points. Brings Dan Bailey in, the 10-cap kicker out of that 850 here in Madden Ultimate Team. He's constructed this team. He gets three, gets on the board after uh, turning the ball over on his first drive for K-Mac. That's Shaq uh, Griffin. He's one of the faster half, uh, linebackers in the game on the outside. He utilizes those two guys. They get him a ton of pressure. Uh, for his defense. So he, he really called out to those two guys. He said, I don't spend a ton of cap there. I don't have Lawrence Taylor. I, uh, get set, get set. But I do have these two very fast, athletic OLBs. I get them in good position to get me a lot of sacks. Absolutely. Good, good, good. Well spent money. Drew Brees for K-Mac. He, he's used Vic before. He's used Scramblers before. He's, he, he decided he doesn't like to fully scramble, so he went to Brees to get that accuracy. A little burst that he gives it. Short quick throw out to the flat. Staying on schedule. Positive gain is always a good gain. A manageable second and six right here. 96, Opening round here of uh, the final four of the Madden 19 Cardinals Club Championship. K-Mac on offense in the red Cardinals uniforms. Trey is on defense in the red Cardinals uniforms. Trey got the ball to open the game. However, threw an interception to K-Mac, who scored, but then did answer. That is where we stand here live. State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Oh, I think he's trying to go for the same same play as it was un uncovered two times in a row. Looked like that uh, curl route was going to come open, but just didn't have enough time to get it off. Yeah, and on that third and short, he's going to go for it here on fourth and 11, Ben. So third and one, he gets the intentional grounding penalty because he's still in the pocket. So now he's actually in a really difficult fourth and 11 situation. It's a big play for Trey right here if he can come up with a stop and have excellent field position to get back in the ball game. And he goes, oh. goes to the dig, tries to go to the late dig. Pass broken up by Sanders. We know who that guy is. Yeah. <laughs> I think we know who that is. 
And I actually like that throw. I thought he had a chance to click on and kind of cut that ball off and yeah. kind of come down to it. When he clicked on, though, he kind of ended up going up field, and that was exactly what let Dion get in. Cardinal saying you can't drift on those routes. You got to come flat. So Trey's in an excellent position right now. Approaching the red zone. Michael Vick takes the snap here on first down. Trey in the red, takes over, goes deep downfield, but interception off the tip. Ryan Shazier, what did you see I'm, through in the coverage? I'm very surprised. There's nobody in the flat. There's nobody accounting for Michael Vick to use those legs. I was very, very surprised at that throw. I felt like he was going to take off just then. Trey with his second turnover of the game, a tipped interception, and Ryan Shazier, who else gets back all the way back into the red zone, catches that interception. Oh, nice curl route, not dropped. Surprising. Wide open pass. Just didn't complete that time. Defensively here, Trey utilizing him, what Jim else? Kill. But the Lions defensive play the and the 3-3-5. Three, three, LB cross stroke two. Going deep, deep pass here over the, the seam. Great throw down the seam. John Ross picks up some big time yards. What they say about the 3-3-5, uh, three, three, Trey runs it on defense. But he said, if you can block it, it's open. There's plenty of openings in this defense. It's just whether or not you can pick up that loop and blitzer before uh, he gets in. Another big completion. This is not exactly what, what Trey wanted to get into. Right now, K-Mag is in complete control right now. Uh, two big completions in a row. Carving up the defense to the corners, those deep corners working well for K-Mag, getting behind the flats. Uh, pressure's getting picked up. He's having no trouble. Ben, on, uh, on offense here, these guys have a lot of tools. They're able to actually use slide protection. They're able to use keep the halfback in. They can keep the, uh, the tight end in. They can call play action and get different blocking. They could motion a guy and get blocking. They can. There's just so many things you can do. You can ID the mic and say, that's the guy I want you to watch. It all works differently. It's a tough blitz to block, but those are the options available to these players. K-Max seems to have no trouble. K-Max not having any trouble right now, and again, I am surprised that we're not utilizing his Michael Vick skill set. Uh, I think that he needs to be incorporated a little bit more. Let him take off and run. Drew Brees, after a, uh, a, a negative four-yard gain here, we got a second and 14 in the red zone, second quarter, K-Max on Excellent offense. Excellent protection. Excellent protection all day long, but he can't take a sack. And Earl Thomas sneaks his way up. You don't see him get a ton of sacks, but uh, a good pocket presence by him getting up there with Breeze, but couldn't, just had nowhere to go. Nowhere to go with the ball. Got to find a way to get rid of it, though. Can't take a sack. Third and 16. You see T.Y. Hilton, Philip Dorsett, John Ross, Will Fuller. That just smells of speed. That's a lot of speed. That's right a there. lot of speed. That's hard to cover. We got an eight come across the middle of the field. Excellent read. Just short, but it's a manageable fourth and short. I think he's going to go. I don't Absolutely. think he, he traveled all the way out here to Arizona. I mean, he did go to Arizona State, but uh, he's out there in D.C. right now. Moved, graduated college, back again for the second straight year is K-Mac. Started playing this game in Madden 16. Some buddies in the dorms. He had the Xbox. They bought Madden. 21, 21, 21. And he just couldn't stand losing to them, so that's where he's at. Fourth and one. He's going for it. Nice formation. Surprise. Everything with a pass right here. Tons of time in the pocket. And he hangs and on. Wow. That was a really difficult way to make a living. How do you think about that? Uh, if it were me, I was going to bring the big guys in, bring my big tight ends in. I'm going <laughs> to run that thing up the middle. But, hey, that's why he's uh, in control right now. Z Farrell's here sitting here with Ben here Patrick, former tight end, always a tight end, wants the big guys in the game. It worked for him the first time. He gets he ran the same exact play with yep. the uh, fullback dive. I think you go with the same formation, but I think you let that lead blocker lead you, lead you to daylight. More work for these tight ends, these big guys. They will block all the way. Devlin. Same play. Got to go with something different. Got to go with something different. Hey, Trey, he's holding the door here. He is. He My is. man RG bend, would say. Bend but not break. Hold the door. Third and goal for K-Mac. Are we going to see play action right here since the run hasn't worked two times in a row? Might not be a bad idea to slip the play action in right now. Look at those hands on Trey, trying to make those defensive adjustments. He but went for it three times in a row. He's confident. He likes it. He's he confident. likes it. Hey, I was watching the Chargers game last week, and they threw two. They threw the deep post two plays in a row. And I was like, that's what matters. Hey, hey, if, if it works, don't stop it. If you don't, if you can't stop it. Yeah. So, 
K-Mac takes a commanding 14-3 lead. You see here Coleman hits the, you know, he gets the seal and carries it in for his second touchdown of the game. This spells trouble for Trey right now. Um, him getting the ball back on offense, like we talked about, if, if it doesn't work, what is your plan B? And right now he's going to have to figure out what that plan B is because plan A is not working right now. Not working for him. He doesn't have that bunch that he's super, super comfortable with. Still with time, the difficult thing here, two minutes, 56 seconds left. He doesn't get the ball, so he needs points on this drive. This is a big-time drive for him. K-Mac doesn't run that kind of standard meta defense, likes to drop more guys into coverage. Uh, Blitz is the least amount of anybody in this event. We have Michael Vick back. Got to find a way. Got to find a way. This is also a big moment for K-Mac as well, as he faced something like this similar last, last season. Uh, how does he respond to that? Does he take his foot off the gas, or does he keep going? You think that always weighs in the back of your mind of a player like you have to think about it yeah you know it's all you're always cognizant of it but i think the best thing that he can do is keep his foot on the gas and, and erase that memory by coming victorious today on defense here on second and three he's got jalen ramsey as one of his got big his back open pieces. in the flat good read spin move. Minutes, yeah a little spin, spin move. move got two minutes left two minute warning coming up as well that is he's the uh, got all his timeouts that's the popular, popular online move. Yeah. <laughs> Just pound that spin button as much as possible and see what you can do to get, get back up, up the field. That trips left over here, walks out of the field. So you see a tight end. So he's got Coleman in the backfield. That's his this second back. Excellent catch in traffic. But it, again, what I'm worried about is waiting so long. When you have a guy like Michael Vick, and you're waiting that long, hey, there has to be an open running lane. Yeah, and Trey's actually shaking his head. He made that play. He's on offense, but he shook his head a little bit because Tim Brown wasn't exactly wide open. No, but, hey, not. when you have Tim Brown. He's a legend. Yeah. You, you, I'll you, take my chances with you Tim. You know, maybe, maybe throwing the ball in traffic a little bit, but uh, he didn't love that. You see Barry Sanders is that tight end, so he's doing some substitutions to, uh, to make that a little bit of an interesting Oh, he's trying Look. to create matchups right yeah. now. He's definitely yeah. trying to create matchups. He's in, still in a good position right now. If he can come away with points before the halftime, he's still in good shape. Yeah. This is one of my favorite things. I like to come out to these events, see what these guys do, figure out how they audible get Barry. Because I want Barry Sanders in, at my spot. Oh, absolutely. See that route he's on, he's got great speed, good route running. Uh, I'm going to go home and try this and do a very <laughs> poor version of it because these guys are super talented. Well, the one thing that you also know that if you've got Barry Sanders at tight end, you know you're not running the ball. So. Yes. Not Again, yet. we're staying in the pocket with Michael Vick. If it's not open, you've got to utilize his skill set, which is his speed with his feet. K-Mac doing a good job containing Vick to the edges, being active in the middle of the defense, not quite letting them escape. Uh, Trey does like to scramble, uh, but hasn't quite done it yet. He also wanted to shout out Shut It Down uh, for helping him get prepped for some of these online games. Shut It Down won the Patriots event two years ago. A good player out of that 4-1-3 area field. Like we got a four-man out here. Again, use the skill set. Nobody in the flat. We've seen it time and time again. There's nobody out in the flat. Use Michael Vick's legs and try to get him out on the perimeter. And he wanted something. He's, he's pretty animated. Uh, he, he wanted that play. I think he maybe wanted the wheel route to, to run past deep to zone. Or, but he... He knocked himself out of field goal range by taking the sack. So that's, is that a mental mistake? That is a, a huge mental mistake. And right now, you see the momentum is in K-Mac's favor right now. Right now, he's got a minute and 15. He hasn't been stopped on offense. He still has uh, a few timeouts, uh, I believe. And or if he doesn't have any timeouts. Use them there to be use smart. There, yeah, yeah, to be smart. Yeah. But his offense hasn't been stopped yet today. So this is, a, this is a bad situation with Trey. He needs a defensive stop badly right now. And those corners especially have been open, and then you're getting out of bounds after those Absolutely. corners. So. Quick throw to the flat, but he stays in bounds. So that, that's good for Trey. And Trey actually uses a timeout. I don't know if I agree with that. I think right now I would try to get into halftime without giving up any more points and try to regroup. A little bit of tilt here perhaps from Trey, trying to just make something happen. I mean, this is the game. Yeah. This is lose and go home. This is the final four here at the club championship for the Cardinals. So he's going to play with everything he has. He's trying to see what he can do, but K-Mac not making it easy on him wearing those white Cardinal uniforms, looking good early in this first half. Definitely the favorite here, according to Twitter, uh, the Madden League Ops poll. Uh, with K-Mac as a slight favorite over T. Davis to win this event. Both of those guys right around the 40% mark. Oh, see, we got a big sack right here. Looks like maybe some pressure came, and uh, it's needed right now. you got to find a way to slow down K-Mac right now, and then bringing pressure is probably one of those answers. Got a cross blitz right here. Seam wide open. Huge play. 
and he was taking those timeouts, but now K-Mac will look to take advantage. Down under 40 seconds, but he's all the way up to midfield, and John Ross, those seams, very tender. You got those speed guys running down the slot, and you got linebackers matched up against him. It's a mismatch all day long. Tender seams. Yes. It's my band name. <laughs> my band name. All right. Oh. Takes a big sack, and that was huge for Trey. Massive, massive. Trey. So that's Vita Vea. He's a rookie. Uh, he's one of the most popular players in Ultimate Team. He's kind of like a uh, Don Terry Poe mode. Big big guy, good strength, good block shed to stop it in, in the ground game, but can also sneak in every now and then. Oh, we got four verticals right here. Based on the situation, Breeze is going to try to heave it up, gives up a sack. This is a good ending for Trey for this half. It's been tough for him so far, but to not give up any points here at the end uh, definitely works in his favor. In some good pocket presence, but just nowhere to go. K-Mac with that 14-3 lead at the half is able to take it into the locker room, not make a, not uh, force a turnover. Couldn't get any points. Couldn't stack on that lead. But Ben, from what you've seen in the first half here, are these guys playing up to their potential, or is Trey making too many mental mistakes? Is it is it um, a, a lapse, or is K-Mac forcing him into these? Uh, I think K-Mac's kind of forcing him into it. Again, he changed up his game plan coming into it. K-Mac jumped off to a, to a lead with the uh, big interception. Now what's plan B? I keep, keep harping on it. What is plan B? And right now, Trey just doesn't have an answer for it. Not yet. And K-Mac takes back over on offense here to start the second half. Looks down, throws it low to Dorsett with a great juke. Excellent. And he He's gone. He's gone. is He's gone. gone. This is this is the worst possible thing that could have happened to open up the half. A big time score like this, you're down 21 to 3 now. What are you going to do on offense? The trips hadn't worked, so now what's, what's plan B? We're going to find out here shortly. There's no more. I mean, he might be on plan C. <laughs> he might be on to plan C. The this. question is, is there a plan C? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these guys, they practice too hard not to have something else ready to go, but uh, K-Mac with unorthodox offense here, throwing, throwing people off a little bit. He is. He's doing a good job of managing the ball, taking what, what, he, uh, what the defense gives him. He's not taking a lot of chances, and the balls that he's completing, guys are wide open. Yeah. That's the thing. I mean, you throw a six-yard route right there, not even run, like not even set to go upfield, but that juke. I mean, that's good, good stick from from uh, Kyle here to, to make sure he gets that. Good pass out to the flat. Good pick up. Maybe a little bit too much dancing. Let's stay north and south. I would go out of bounds there. Uh, he spun back into the hit stick. Yep. Not something you see every day, but. Gave us a, gave me a, like a little <laughs> bit of anxiety. A little, a little yeah. jolt right there. I don't miss those, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, first and 10 here. Trey's back Taking on back offense. Flat. Good defense, though. Good D. Clamps down. Those flats are very, very uh, potent zones here in Madden. You see Trey, he's running that Patriots offensive playbook with the Lions on defense. And then an ultimate team, you get some chemistries that can help boost your players. So he's using play fake. And here's a couple look at his studs. It's Troy Apke. He's a uh, rookie, but he's a budget stud as they build, they build these lineups towards 850 points, uh, the, the cap number. You can't just have studs everywhere sure. you look. Well, the thing is, when I look at that, and we look at Mike Vick and we look at Tyreek Hill, we haven't really said their name much at all today. So his two main moneymakers on offense haven't been able to, to do much, and that's that's tipping my hat off to K-Mac. He's, he's got a good game plan on defense right now. Yeah, he's right underneath the, that zone there. The, the play that he threw the pick on on the first one there just happened again. He remembered it. He got to the same position on the field, and Trey didn't throw it, but he wants something to be open there. Third and 19, Vic looking, takes it. Lead. Four down territory, so at least you get some back. You get some of that back, but for K-Mac, you want that. You'll take the underneath all day long. And now you put him in a 4th and 10, 4th and 9 situation. Yeah, and like we said, a little bit unorthodox here with Arizona and the Jags here as uh, he's facing a big-time 4th down. Drew Brees, for him, T.Y. Hilton, Shazier is the user, and then uh, Shaq Griffin as his budget option. It's a huge budget option right there. Oh, excellent catch. Great. Big first down. Great throw. Vic let it. Slightly inaccurate, but when you, when you pony up the salary cap for, for a guy, he comes up with a monster, monster catch. You also got to keep in mind that with, with the time right now. The, uh, Trey needs to score quickly because he hasn't been able to stop him on uh, K-Mac on offense, so he needs to score quickly. Oh, and he goes underneath, takes it. You like to think that these underneath throws are, are good options, but again, you're playing against the clock right now as well. Two opponents. Two opponents right now, and, and right now those, those two opponents are showing the upper hand. 
absolutely. 226 here to go in the Cardinals Club Championship. First game between K-Mac on defense and Trey. Just Trey dumps the ball off. K-Mac jumped out to an early lead with a big turnover. Trey's been completing a good amount of passes, but just nothing nothing too big downfield. And then those, those two turnovers just so critical. That's the name of the game right there. When you have two turnovers and K-Mac capitalize on both of those, that usually determines the game. Reminder for you guys watching out there online, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, Facebook. Michael Vick, there's a chance for him to take off and run. There's nobody in the flat. Wait's too late. We've seen it all day long. We've seen impatient. it all day long. Just impatient. Nope. Thanks for being here with us at the Cardinals Club Championship here, Madden 19. Make sure you link that Twitch account up using the link underneath the stream. Get your Twitch drops on. Get stuff for watching. Watch live. Get rewards. We're here. Lots of events coming up. This is a great one here in Arizona. A fourth down in the first game. This could be the this could decide the game right here. Michael, ball game. Michael Vick in the pocket looking for somebody to come underneath and a huge completion right there. Very, Tested very the fortunate. user, threw at the user, but he really didn't have another choice. He didn't, he didn't. So he keeps his keeps his hopes alive right now. Trying to hurry up underneath. Took the field goal early. Now he's going to need three full scores and a couple stops. But I don't agree with the run game right now. Again, the time is your enemy right now. Uh, run game wise, if you get a couple of yards, that's not really going to going to help you in the long run. Not moving it. Travius here from South Carolina. Mom and dad watching at home. Used to play with the Ocean Gang squad. That's kind of the crew that that he rocked with back uh, when I met him at the Jaguars Club Championship. Two years ago, playing quite a bit of Madden still as Tyreek Hill goes up for the aggressive catch, makes it. And we, we finally hear something from Tyreek Hill, who's a big time player, big time throw. So right now, with the score right here, I wonder what that does to, to K, K Max psyche right now. With a big score right here, could be some remnants of what happened last year. Turn up the heat. Absolutely. Turn up the in the game and the facility. It's, a, it's nice and cool. Nice and cool in here. I, I appreciate the breeze. I think we're getting the roof open tonight. I would love for that. I would love for that to happen. That's uh, that's a big, big, big deal. Yeah, it's a game day, man. Broncos coming to town. Take on the Cardinals here at State Farm Stadium. And we are live at the Madden 19 Club Championship, the game before the game. But for these four competitors, this is the biggest game of the day for them because they can potentially go on here to represent the Cardinals as the club champion and earn a shot at $100,000 for winning the club championship out of that $700,000 prize pool. It's the biggest major in the Madden 19 championship series. On top sweep right here, gets into the end zone. So we got a chance still. This is still a ball game right now. And again, like I said earlier, I wonder what's going through K-Mac's mind right now because this is some remnants of what happened last year. And I know you talked to him back before the show, Ben. And you know, he didn't give you much as you see Coleman here uh, push forward and, and get that touchdown. Did you believe him when he said, ah, I don't think about it? No, absolutely not. Uh, it's definitely in the back of your mind, especially when you have a scenario and a situation setting up similar to what happened last year. You can't help but to think about that a little bit. What's interesting is, you know, last year was his first, like, true year competing, right? He was still in school. He was busy. He, plays lac he played lacrosse at Arizona State. Um, so he didn't quite have as much time to play as he would have last year. This year, he says that he feels like he understands the game better than ever. So he was really, really good last year, but now he feels like he, he's even better. Yeah, he told me the main thing for him this year was to, to be focused through the entire game. And that, that rolls true for, for the guys that are going to come in here in a little bit, is, is being focused for the entire game for the entire four quarters to get the job done. Got to play. It's not 60 minutes. No. It's, you know, five times four. It's 20 minutes. <laughs> but... Uh, you got to play for the, the full game. He's going to do that. He's going to take it all the way down uh, to the fourth quarter. Hold your fours up in the chat. If you're watching right now live, the Madden 19 Cardinals Championship, let us know with those fours in the chat. Kyle McAllister ready to roll here. Majored in computer information systems, and he's uh, running this computer information uh, of Madden pretty nicely. Absolutely, you can definitely see the correlation. This is a, a smart young man. Drew Brees. Cross back, he's going to go to the cross. Up. And he can afford to take the short. Pass. Absolutely, that's what yeah. he wants to do. As long yeah. as you can keep that clock moving, you're in good shape right now. 
11 of 13. I mean, speak, speaking of smart folks as well, you went to Duke, so <laughs> we'll throw that out there. That's, that's uh, pretty impressive in it, in itself. Not sure how they let me get in there, yeah. but In I'll Delaware, <laughs> you did your fifth year at Delaware. Yes, sir. Started grad that's school a, there. That's a darn good school as well. Pretty good. Go Blue Hens, go Blue Devils. The blue. The blue connection. <laughs> right. Now we're all red here. <laughs> Big third and oh, uh -oh. oh, a huge pick right here. Who else? But Troy. Is that Troy Apke? Hey, now. That's Troy Apke. We are. We have a situation. We have a situation that we just talked about. A score right here from, from Trey could put some huge pressure on K-Mac right now. Oh, yeah. Look at this interception. Apke, the budget user. He's down underneath the user interception. And now it's just an 11-point game. And uh, Interesting. Yeah, Very we might have to zoom in on game here <laughs> and show the Twitch chat kind of what he's thinking because... You, this is the time where you start thinking about last year. Okay, early on in the game when you got a comfortable lead, you're comfortable, but this is very reminiscent of what happened last year, so he's definitely got to be thinking about that right now. Trey, four minutes left. Suddenly now feels like he has plenty of time with three timeouts. Already in field goal range to make it a one-score game. You can't turn the ball over. He's got to get Vic going. Yeah, and be careful going underneath. You got somebody spying and a linebacker sitting right in the middle of the field. That could have been a big-time mistake right there. Fortunately, it and was. You can see, you can see K. Mac knowing that he should have made that play. Yeah, it was, it's a lower-budget player, Anuna, so probably a, a 10, 12 cap, low, low-level player. So fortunately, no, no damage besides just a miss, miss down here. Third and 11 for Trey. Oh, can't take a sack in this situation. Very tough. And Jacobs, three sacks. I see uh, his, his cost on the auction house is going up here. So he's trying to make this at least a one possession in a one score game. He <laughs> roughed the kicker. He roughed the oh. kicker. <laughs> Keeps getting a little more interesting by the minute. He's <laughs> three quarters of flawless, amazing football from K-Mac. Yeah. And right now, got to finish the job. Uh, Self-inflicted. Uh, a uh, wound there on the running into the kicker. Thank you, Vic. Goes over the middle, underneath. Again, you got to be cognizant of the clock as well. I know he's in hurry-up mode right now, but got to take some shots towards the end zone. Yeah, so in the red zone, he does like to run in the red zone. Uh, he also likes to try and throw the high ball at times, and then he'll uh, potentially throw to the halfback out of the backfield. So those are kind of his three strategies uh, at scoring in the red zone. He'll go into, uh, they have coach adjustments in men, so you can kind of tell your team, play more aggressive, play more conservative, depending on the game situation. He'll he'll uh, set those aggressive uh, run blocking and try and run the ball. So that's one thing that he, that he works on. I think he's going to attack the middle of the field, possibly right here. Gonna Oof. That's in some traffic. He did not want that defender to be able to make that play. He felt like he had the window and could get it done. And now we're back to kicking another field goal. I bet you came back does not. I would go after him this time. Run into the kicker. He's gonna look, the coach is going to give you an earful. Oh, absolutely. The good absolutely. thing in Madden is you're the coach, you're the GM, you're the play caller, you're the guy in the sticks. You've got a lot of responsibility in the middle of a game of Madden. And K-Mac here has an eight-point lead with three minutes to go. You need that, you know, they call it in the NFL, they call it the four-minute offense. Why, yeah. am I, why am I telling you about what they call it in the NFL? <laughs> you tell me. Right now, he just needs to run the football. He yep. needs to chew up some of his clock and force Trey to use maybe some of his timeouts right now. He's still in the driver's seat. Just stick with your game plan. Don't take any chances right now. Cannot afford any chances here. Lots of good defense coming up. Surprised by him throwing the ball right now. Oh, goes for it. Oh, he fumbled Ruski, and he was able to pick it back up. <laughs> Door set goes deep in the seam. Wow. 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 That was, I think, Patrick Peterson. He had RB, so that, that RB strip from that behind position. This Watch this. So right as he gets in there, he clicks on. Yep, Pat Pete holds RB, rips it, and a f uh, fortunately his guy jumped this on it, even with two Cardinals in the area. This is why I said I didn't want to take any chances right now because that could have been catastrophic. Man, K-Mac. Now he's in a, now he's in a run, run heavy formation, which is smart right now. Hand this ball off. He's going tall sweep. Loses some yards on this one right now, but again, the clock is still running right now. Coleman unable to escape and get to that edge, but yes, like you said, keeps the clock mo moving. He's going to have to call one more play here before the two-minute warning. And surprise, Trey's not taking a timeout right now. I really I know, am. I know they like to take them before the two-minute quarters in the NFL. A lot of people will save them uh, until right after it in Madden. It's, it's kind of a, a preference thing. You can see he's draining the clock right yeah, now. And it looks like the pressure is on. It looks like it's going to be manned up across the board. And the user was there. And Trey wanted it, man. The user linebacker was, was right there. He knew what was coming. He just was a step slow. 
Got to have that, that confidence to get there. And that's Apke, uh, who's good, he's fast, but maybe doesn't have the agility, maybe doesn't have, you know, he's not a Shazier, he's not, not a 95 nope. overall. He's 70, he's good, but. Good, that, solid, ad adequate player. That could be the difference. Could be the difference here as he fills out that salary cap lineup. Two minutes left, running the ball. Let's just go north and south. We don't need anything fancy right now. Let's just go north and south. Yeah, you just need three here. 46-yard field goal for K-Mac, who... What do uh, you do? What do you do? We're going to find out how much he's got on that kicker, what that kick power is, and uh, he should be able to, to get it. And he, But he'll know. You know, he'll know. He's, he's done the homework on this. Right now, I think I would drain some of this clock as much as I can. Yep. He'll, here we have the kick. Wow, and that's a money... Money kick. He's holding down the A button. That kick looks like it's good. Drills it. Yeah, it's got to be a big relief for K-Mac right now. Obviously not a good situation for Trey, but the game's not over. Yeah, the good news for Trey is he has those three timeouts still. Um, you're not quite relying on an onside kick quite yet, but you don't have a whole lot of time here on offense to, to really get him to range. Some extra spins from Trey. One too many times going to the well. I think you got to stay north and south right now. He's definitely going to have to take some shots. Some shots here right now. I think you go to a four or five wide set, and you're going to have to put the ball downfield. He's going to the Y off trips here in this Patriots playbook. Audible to that trip to tight end with the two halfbacks in gets Barry Sanders at tight end. You'll be seeing that, that online soon, too. I like that. It's fancy. Big drop back. Patience. Great patience. And now Vic's going to scramble. He's going to need... Big run right there, but this is what we were talking about earlier in the game. Some of those opportunities were, were available, and Vic just picked up 12 or 13 yards. Now, do you kick the field goal here if you get down in range and then try and score the touchdown after? Do you see what you, you get first? <clears throat> I think you got to try to score because right now Trey has had a hard time stopping K-Max offense, so I think you got to try to go for the score here. 50 seconds to go. Vic drops back. Cannot take the sack, but the shed gets in, and that is Jacobs with four sacks in this game. He's been a nightmare, K-Mac, seven sacks on the day. That's the difference in the game. When you look at the seven sacks and you look at the two turnovers, that's really the difference in the game. Uh, certainly not the, the outcome that Trey wanted, but certainly uh, no reason to have his head down. Now he had to take that timeout, so clock is stopped with 40 seconds to go, and he throws a dot <laughs> wide open. Excellent sideline throw. What a throw. What a play from Trey. He gets down to the 40-yard line here. Trails by 11 in this one. Got a bunch formation left. See if we can flood one side of the field, looking for that crosser coming across. Can't, but Vic shrugs one sack, but can't get past that's the eight. second one. That's eight. You're eight not, on the day. Not going to beat many people taking eight sacks. That's just a short game, tough. too. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Got to give, gotta give credit to K-Mac. He's played a pretty good game today. He really, he really thought that the, the Griffin and the other two would go overwhelming. He told me, he told me in one of his games to get here that he had like 17 sacks, oh. and I was like, it seems like a lot. Like that well, seems like a little high, but now that he's already had nine, it doesn't even seem like that many. Like he probably definitely had 17. I'd be, I'd, I'd be willing to say that yeah, I believe him on the 17 sacks. He's had a really good defensive game plan. He's capitalized on the mistakes. He's had a good offensive game plan. Uh, just a uh, well-played game today. Not ranked in Madden 17, K-Mac. Last year finished up at number 181 in the championship series. This year back for more. Graduated. Ready to potentially put himself into the finals here against Travius Hill, who finished 189 in 17, but 591 last year. 17 seconds to go. He gets down to the 29-yard line, and we're going to get that field goal to bring this to a one-score game. And then we're going to have ourselves an onside kick. A little drama. A little drama at the end. Ten, nine to ten seconds left. Going to be very difficult to try to pull this off, but you got to go for it. you got to try it. And Trey make magic. No. Not today. No. Not today. And K-Mac holds on, secures the ball on the onside kick, Made us, made it exciting. Made it probably a little more exciting than it had to be, but got back to winning. Absolutely, and you think uh, for, for K Mac, this has got to be a huge win. Uh, he faced uh, some adversity last year, but this time he was able to to go ahead and finish off the game. So that has to do something for his psyche. You see a little handshake between the two competitors there as we bring it back, and the stadium in the backdrop here, ready on a game day.